is that we lay before your hands. God, we pray for this Gosheni church that it shall blossom in the mighty name of Jesus. There are certain things you have brought in your able hands. And we trust and we believe, God, you shall fulfill them, Jehovah. That this church, Jehovah God, we shall walk and talk your walk in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall bless our, elder, our reverend, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall bless him with his family in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall walk with him. You shall bless our elders with their families as they work your church. As they diligently work for you, Father, you shall bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us praise God. Father, we may all be seated. Asante Nisana. Praise Jesus. Let us give praise to our Jesus. He has been gracious to us. He is our strength. We have no one to compare ourselves to. We have no one that we can give thanks to. He's the only God. He's the anchor of our faith. He's the pillar of our strength. He is our hope. He's the only person that we can call. And today, as we, we had fasted, we had prayed, and today is the climax of what God has done. Today is the climax that ukisikia kama kuna mahali huko umesikizana vizuri umeomba vizuri. Leo ndio siku tulikuwa tumekuja kuabudu na kumwambia Mungu. I like praying because I know they don't go to the dustbin. There is no dustbin in the kingdom of God. And unajiachilia kwa mungu. Because he says, you cannot pray for a bread, I give you a stone. So today we have come to ask for a bread. And we are going to be so specific. And we are going to be so persistent in asking for this bread that we want our God to give us. In every situation, in everything that we are going in our lives, he is the only person who can strengthen us. 
this morning and who can walk with us this journey of life. This journey of life has so many things. It has plains, it has valleys, it has mountains, it has all seasons. But he's a God in every situation. He's a God in every season. And he shall come in every season to rescue us despite the, the situation and despite where we'll be, he's universal and he's so great and he's omnipresent. So surely we know he shall come and visit us in a mighty and a special way. And the prophet Jeremiah said, where are these women that pray me? In Kikuiti says, Today they are in the house of God to shout, to pray, to praise and to worship. Nasa isi tutaigia kuwaship. Sintile. Tutaigia kuwaship, iyo kuwaship. Na this mic, they belong to all of us. Give us the back. So, who wants a mic? You know you. And another one is this one. I've seen Monica somewhere. Who else need a mic? So anybody can have a mic. Anybody. Who wants a mic? Who wants a mic? We shout. Another person. This is just a very small weapon. Good girl. To see my messy water. So that to create free space, I could not go back at ten as in your city man, Quarona, Roha Metawala, and it's a fish and Kichoka, Monica, Nini, Alice, Yuko, Natunataka, Kosha, Kuruka, Sindio. Newega, Gaina, Tado, Mwaga, Newega.
Tani Moye, Gumona Ogoshi, Ogoshokera, Fafa, Gumona Ogoshi, Ogoshokera, Hedalia Dugata, Shakusai Magara, Omayu, Gumona Ogoshi, Ogoshokera, Petoro na Johanna Makora Kyoja, Yamahoya. Mungu nana nasi 
sisi wote kuna jaba Mungu atateda kinywa chako fungua kinywa chako habia Mungu jambo oh iririkania gai shira na rashi yake toke moririkania na gai moyo hoke ku hakuna Mungu kama yeye tumkumbushe ahadi zake kwa maisha yetu hakuja atimize juyeye ni Mungu mwema yeye ni Mungu mtakatifu anasema anatimiza katika jina la Yesu there are many things that may be going through your mind there are many things where you down there are situations that you feel as if they are permanent but today they are not permanent it doesn't matter how long you have waited for this god today he's coming to visit you in a special and a greater way in the mighty name of jesus hori mazaka rabo jakari mahanda rikantari bazika rabo andari mai hoi jehova rakantari bazika ramahanda rikantari bazika rabo rima jehova rikantari bazika hoi jehova we call upon come and visit our lives in a special way jehova Come and fulfill our heart desires. Come and unburden our burdens, Jehovah. Oh, Jehovah, listen to us today. We have waited you for a long time. We have become impatient in very in some times. We have become weary and weak, Jehovah. But this morning, my King, I know Jehovah, you're coming to strengthen us, my Redeemer. I know Jesus, God, there's something new. that you are going to do in our lives we just need you father we don't need anything we just need your presence in our lives come jehovah and bless us come and heal our broken hearts come and heal our broken hearts our wounded hearts come and give us new strength to move on come jesus we are waiting upon you it doesn't matter whatever we have gone through It doesn't matter the magnitude of our pains. It doesn't matter how deep our pains are. It doesn't matter how painful our wounds are. He's the God who healed the wounds. He's the heart, uh, God who made the broken hearts. He's the God of restoration. May you come and restore us. May you come and restore what has been eaten by locust. May you come Jehovah and strengthen us once more. We need you this morning. We need you Jehovah. We have no one. Wa wedi otegeme oletu. Wa wedi otegeme oletu baba. Wa dia tunagojea baba. Kamu kujo unene nasi. Nena nasi asubuhi ya leo baba. Twakugojea we bungu. Utede na utawale. Kwa maana wewe ni mwaminifu. Hakuna Mungu kama wewe. Nena na wa mama baba. Wamekuja bele zako wakigojea kusikia kutoka kwako baba. Hawajategemea yeyote baba. Wamekuja bele zako kusikiza neno lako. Kukuabudu na kukupea sifa baba. Kutana na mahitaji yao yawe. Kutana baba wajibu maombi yako yao baba. Wewe ni Mungu unayejibu maombi. Wewe ni Mungu baba. Hakuna Mungu kama wewe. Uliganishwi na chochote baba. Wewe ni mwaminifu wewe ni mtakatifu rima zaka raboshaka wewe ni Mungu na atupea nguvu tunaomba nguvu zako jo asubuhi ya leo tunaomba uwepo wako baba tunaomba kunenewa nawe baba tunaomba kutebea nawe yawe wewe peke yako baba ulie juu biguni mtakatifu wa watakatifu ndio tunakugoja tunajua utajibu maombi yetu i will not get we will not get this Jesu da to to chikuma hore atokile to kuma hore aladhime we shall come this place we shall come out of this place with testimonies we shall come out of this place receiving blessings whoever is sick they shall be healed in the mighty name of Jesus those without jobs they shall get jobs those looking for promotions they shall have them those are looking for peace in their families they shall receive it in the mighty name of Jesus those who have problems with their children god of restoration shall restore their children to them in the mighty name of Jesus i trust and i believe in you father you are the only god i know sijui mungu mwingine ila wewe baba na diposa niko na nguvu niko na imani unateda makuu niko na imani unaponya niko na imani unabariki 
Niko na imani unarejesha. Niko na imani unatimiza hadi zako. Niko na imani uko pamoja nasi. Niko na imani unatunenea asubuhi ya leo. Niko na imani wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu zote baba. Na kuabudu na nakupea sifa. Na kuabudu na kupea sifa baba. Na kuabudu na kupea sifa yawe. Kwa heshima baba nasema utukuke kwa maisha yetu. Utukuke kazini kwetu. Manyubani kwetu na kanisani kwetu baba. Utukuke yawe. Mungu uliyejawa na nguvu baba. Utukuke kwa kila jabo. Whichever situations, whichever seasons you are in Jehovah. You are God in all situations and seasons. I trust and I believe Jehovah. There is something new that you are going to do today. In the mighty name of Jesus we say amen. In the mighty name of Jesus we give a holy clap to our God. A holy clap to our God. He is the powerful God. He is the faithful God. We cannot trust on anyone apart from him. He is the God who, who is with us. He shall never leave us. His Holy Spirit is in control and he shall do everything we have requested. Everything we have requested today. I trust and I believe it's done in Jesus name. Say shout is done in Jesus name. It's done in Jesus name. You just need to you just need to be have faith. You just need to have faith even in the unseen things, even in those things that you cannot see. You just need to have faith. They shall happen. And when they happen, when is that God's time is right, he makes everything beautiful in the mighty name of Jesus. This time I take this opportunity to welcome you in this presence. We have prayed about all the prayers that you are told to pray about, but we shall go through the individuals that you are told to take us through. We shall do it shortly as we pray. So, yon nisikuwa maombi, karibu sana, God bless you so much. And we are going to, to start. We have repented, we have done adoration, we have prayed for our families, we have felt nice. Have you felt nice? Have you felt nice in the presence of God? I felt so blessed. I tell you, I have felt so good in his presence, and I always feel that. Thank you, young, young girls coming. God bless you. And this time we have, um, we have prayers that you are given and we have, the, we are going to start with the, uh, to pray about the church. I don't know who was given to pray about the church. I'm on another page. Tunaia page yetu. There is someone who was praying for the church. You are the one, eh? Nitakua tunaiba for us kidogo, then you know that. I'm following the program that I've been given. So that's what we are going to start with. We have the person, who, there's someone who was doing the repentance. Is it right? Yeah? You first do the repentance and adoration and then you do this. You do them as a program, eh? Asante Yesu, 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 Asante Yesu. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. We thank you for your love. Father, you have been so faithful in our lives, Lord. We lift up our voices and say thank you. There is none like you, Jehovah Jireh. Lord, you are God of all gods. You are almighty, Father. You are the maker of heaven and earth. You are the creator, Lord, of the entire universe. We exalt your name on high, Father. We sing, Lord, praises to your name, Father. Receive praise this morning. Receive glory, Lord. Receive honor. Receive adoration. 
Father, we exalt your name on high. Hallowed be thy name, Father. Receive our praises, Lord, this morning. Lord, you alone are worthy, you alone are mighty. Father, we love you. This morning we worship you. This morning we praise your holy name. We exalt you, Father. We humble ourselves in your presence, Lord, declaring, Father, that there is none like you, declaring, God, that you alone reign. You alone reign, Father, in our midst. Lord, you alone reign in our lives, Father. You alone reign even in our nation. You alone reign even in our church, Lord. Be glorified, Abba, Father. Be lifted up, Lord. Receive praise, receive honor, receive thanksgiving, Father. We worship you this morning. We exalt you. Father, we humble ourselves at thy throne of mercy this morning. Lord, we have sinned before you. We are sinners, Lord. Your word says that if we say we are not sinners, then we make you a liar. And your truth is not in us, Father. This morning, Lord, we ask for your forgiveness, Lord. We come before you with repentant hearts, Father. We pray that you wash us with your precious blood, Lord. We pray that you cleanse us, Father, and make us white as snow, Lord. We have fallen short of your glory in many ways, Father. In our thoughts, Lord, in our words, and even in our deeds. Father, we pray that you grant us your mercies. Let your mercy prevail in our hearts, Lord. Your word says, Father, in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, Lord, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all our unrighteousness. Father, this morning we come before you confessing that we have sinned, Lord, before you. Father, we ask that you cleanse us with your precious blood. We ask that you make us righteous before you, Lord. Father, we confess the sins, Lord, even as individuals, Father, we have fallen short of your glory. We pray that you forgive us and cleanse us. We confess the sins, Lord, of our families, Father. Forgive us, Lord, for the sins of our families, the sins of our ancestors, Lord. We pray for forgiveness. The sins of our parents, Father, we ask for forgiveness. The sins of our children and even our spouses, Lord, we ask for forgiveness. We ask that you cleanse us, Lord, with your precious blood. We pray that grace and mercy will prevail over us, Father. Lord, we ask for forgiveness for the sins of our nation. As a country, Lord, we have fallen short of your glory. As a country, Lord, we have sinned. In our ways, Lord, Lord, in whatever we are advocating for, we are sinners. Father, cleanse us and wash us. Forgive the sins of our country, Lord. For your word says, even in 2 Chronicles 7, 13 to 16, that if we confess our sins, that, Lord, if we confess, that... If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I forgive their sins. I will heal their land, Lord, and I will make them whole again. Father, we confess the sins of our nation. We humble ourselves and stand in the gap for our country. Lord, we pray that you, make, you heal our land, Lord, and you make us whole again, Father. We thank you and we give you glory and we honor you. We pray, Lord, that you will strengthen us to walk in your ways. We pray, Lord, that you will give us grace. You will show us mercy, that we will walk, Lord, in your paths, that you will lead us to paths of, your, of righteousness for your name's sake, Lord. We pray that the Holy Spirit of the living God will speak to our hearts. Father, we pray that even this morning you will open our ears so that we will be able to hear your voice. And if we hear your voice, Lord, then we will walk in your ways. For your word says, even in John 10, 27, that my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Father, we are your sheep. We are the sheep of your flock, Father. And we pray that you open our ears so that we will be able to hear you. And when we hear you, Lord, give us obedience that we will follow your voice, that we will walk in your ways, Lord, so that we will not get lost in our ways, Father, so that we will not miss out on your promises, Thank you because you have promised us, Lord, the gift of eternal life. And this gift, we will achieve it, Lord, if we follow your voice and walk in your ways. We thank you this morning and we worship you. We pray, Lord, that you be in our midst, Father. Even as we continue, Lord, in this prayer session, we humble ourselves, Father, at your feet and open our hearts to receive from you. We glorify you and we praise you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. A prayer for our families. Jehovah, we got him on and 
tunakuja mbele zako asubuhi ya leo tukisema ni asante baba kwa kwa jiri umekuwa mwaminifu umekuwa Mungu mwema juu ya maisha yetu tunainua jina lako tukisema ni asante baba tunaleta familia zetu mkononi mwako tukijua ya kwamba wewe ndi ulianzisha familia baba tukijua ya kwamba uko na mpango mwema juu ya familia zetu Jehova ajiri yale yote umetutendea kama familia vile umeperekana nasi tumekuona na njia mingi thank you guy to donate kuonete ogetoro erera na ogetohotanira ta mishie mwathani thank you guy to donate oye na mifago mega iguru ria mishie itu mwathani na nikiro shine roro guy torago thaitha fa foroga me mishie mwathani oheane thayo na gikeno na wenda ni guy kuria kwena kie ha jehova shera ku mwathani kuria kwena maithori mahure maithori guy Kulea kuena adua ligai tuweka wako mahoni ya baba. Kulea dome ya mawodi na kime mesie marea ruwaru. Mesie kagera raru o muadhani igorore adua o muadhani. Weo hota gamothe gai weo hona nagia Jehova gai. Chera mesie ono eke mahodome ga gai. Kule mesie raire ire muadhani. Manae olia terere vafa. Muomothe gogo tidate ya gai. Where you are a provider oh lord. Provide for this families which are suffering oh lord provide for them father where we gai mwega na we mutugi when we to e hoka na we no e mwe hoka wa mishie gai gai we to mone kanire mwathani jehova shothereria family matigito ni edwao mena kie hana maithori roshine roro mahure maithori gai shothereria mishie mwathani ena bara gai na kire roro jehova roshine roro kore kinya marafa gaure ya mago tiga na mwathani thani kore kinya mekete divorce guy wedu atonyiti thanirie negetha tugatigana guy mwathani da hoyo nyitithanie mishi na wedo waku guy reke thasia ku mwathani guy wetha ituike sia gukinyira mishi mwathani thaino ari tore ya jesu mwathani kwena ndu mwathani guy wetha kwena kie ha jehova igoro ria ciana cia mwathani kore ciana itahetwo ni maundu mathi igathi johine igathi Zine mwadhani Ona igathie maodo ine toraigua mama gigi gai We gai ohataga mwadhani weo hono kanagia Oko ato hono kerie shia na shito mwadhani Matekore kwa metekore ya goma matekeire vava Katika jina la Yesu Christo Mwadhani gai we dha Lirika na shia na shito Manore naridore ya kure ya dha Gai wito mwega Madhare kuma maodo ine mare ya goma matekeire jehova Thei no are to are a Jesu. Shia na shito ne shi ne da di me gai. Shia na shito ne shio atoko li akanitha wa akuro si u muadhani. Mahete muadhani matika aheto ni ore amoru. Thei no are to are a Jesu. Toke go shokeri a gadha ni ore o menyere ire shia na shito. Ni ore o kore to e a muanao. Are a marare mashukuru ine gai. Mara shoka me shie mariega muadhani. Ne to ago za idho magitere. Holi deno togo korona o muadhani. To ahoyo manyiti. Oto nyiti dhaniye na wedo na shia na shito. To ikaraniye na dhayo muadhani. To tikano na garniye muadhani. To edane gai wito. Na to ikare na dhayo waku gai. Kire agi othe maku fatara fafa. Tu ikawa ago tohe muadhani. To duenu o tohe aga jehova. Cho dhereri ya muadhani. Ona to anato uto nini muadhani. To tare no menyo gai wito. Marigi sheri ya nadha kame a Jesu Kristo Makore mede tuonewe muadhani Makore mahithe tuonewe Matikono niore ya moru Veino are tuore ya Jesu To iga meshire eroga mere iruoro shine roro haha Moko ine makumega Ore ya okiri ya titiketi ya merigo merito Igorore ya musie wake Reki ya kiuma nyoba ya kugai Daka umeore ikirire gai Ore ya tigire musie wake ya tare dhayo Akore dhayo muadhani Ore ya tigire musie wakewe na modo moro waru. Akore mahone ete vafa. Veino wale tore ya jeso. Ore ya rari guore ya gweka mudhenya wao mothe. Gai wito muone kanere gai. Neto iga mesi muoko ine maku. Tua hoa ya dhayo gai. Tua hoa ya keke no mesi ne ito. Toke go tugata na weto tugatere mesi gai. Veino wale tore ya jeso kristo. Neto wakote ya muadhani. Neto wakua bararia. 
Tony to e mwatha ni. Weno e mwabere ria wa mesie. Na mesie gea kako wa gerera. Ona nyoba ya kude gea gerera. Ona fororito gea gerera. Mwatha ni shera meshi na weke maodo mega. Todo we gai mutugi. Na we gai mwe hokeku. Theino wale torea jesu kristo toa hoya. Ona toa shokia gari. Excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. and everlasting father we come into your presence this morning bringing our churches unto your hippo hands jehovah we pray dear father and for all the churches dear father that are serving you in truth and spirit dear father in the entire world jehovah and pray dear father that all the churches dear father and believers dear father may know you more jehovah the lord god they may serve you in truth and spirit jehovah the lord god they may believe in you, father and participate dear father in even preaching your gospel jehovah the lord god dear father the lord god speak your word, dear Father, and all the glories and honor shall be unto you, Jehovah. Thank you, dear Father, even for those, dear Father, even Lord God, that have not yet accepted you as the Lord and Savior of their life, dear Father. May you touch their heart, Jehovah. May you convict them, dear Father, of their sins, Jehovah. Enable them, dear Father, even to, the com to come to the knowledge of your Holy Son, Jesus Christ, Jehovah, and all the glories and honor shall be unto you, Jehovah. Thank you, dear Father, because, dear Father, it is you alone, dear Father, that we adore, Jehovah. Lord God, enable, dear Father, each and every church, Jehovah, to have, dear Father, as by your commandment, Dear Father, make dear Father have no other than God besides you, dear Father. You who is our King, you is our Shepherd, Jehovah, our Redeemer, dear Father, and our Father, dear Father, that you shall be the Holy God that we shall have, dear Father. Lord God, that you shall enable, dear Father, all the churches and believers, dear Father. Lord God, dear Father, to make no hide or worship, dear Father, even in our sanctuaries, Jehovah, in, or in, the, in any other place, Jehovah. But Lord God, to adore you alone, Jehovah, you who is worthy of our praise, our worship, and our honor, dear Father. Lord God, may you continue, dear Father, the Lord God has seen even Christian Jehovah, the Lord God, you may enable each and every dear Father places of your worship, dear Father. Dear Father, not to take your name for granted, Jehovah. Not, dear Father, even to worship others, Jehovah, but to look at you as on the cross and see you as the Holy God, dear Father. And Lord God, may you enable us, dear Father, even to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy, Jehovah. Lord God, it is you, dear Father, that you believe in, and it is you that you trust as churches, Jehovah. And Lord God, may you, dear Father, be manifested, Jehovah. At this time, dear Father, we bring our church, Jehovah, and your able hands, Jehovah. Thank you, dear Father, for this church of Goshen, Jehovah. Lord God, we, we pray, dear Father, for the revival on this, in this church, Jehovah. We pray, dear Father, that, Lord God, you shall continue, dear Father, to your Holy Spirit shall continue, dear Father, even, Lord God, to be experienced in this place, Jehovah. Let your Holy Spirit, dear Father, reign in this place, Jehovah. Lord God, remembering even, dear Father, the readers of our church, Jehovah. We pray, dear Father, remembering, dear Father, even, Lord God, our reverend, our elders, Jehovah. Even deacons and even the group leaders, Jehovah. You know them by their name, Jehovah. May you continue, dear Father, to bless them, Jehovah. May you continue, dear Father, even to equip them with the strength, Jehovah. With the wisdom, with the knowledge and discernment, Jehovah. Lord God, as even they continue, dear Father, to deliver it on all the church matters, Jehovah. May you, dear Father, continue, dear Father, even to grant them the wisdom and the knowledge that comes from you, Jehovah. Give them even the teamwork spirit, Jehovah. The love for one another, Jehovah. The unity, Jehovah. And Lord God, even grant them, dear Father, even the joy to serve you, dear Father, enjoy Jehovah. And grantness at that, Jehovah. Because, dear Father, it is you, dear Father, who promises Jehovah. The Lord God, they shall serve you, dear Father. And they shall spend their days, dear Father, in prosperity, dear Father. And the years in contentment, Jehovah. Lord God, let your promises be fulfilled upon them as they serve you, dear Father. Even, Lord God, with their time, Jehovah. With their gift, with their talent, and even in the areas they are selected to serve Jehovah. It is you alone, Jehovah, who is able, dear Father, to grant them that which they need, Jehovah. And Lord God, as even they continue, dear Father, to serve you, dear Father, may you continue, dear Father, 
Father, even to press their water, their bread, and even move sickness from among us to them, dear Father. Give them the unity that comes from you, Jehovah. Lord God, we come against even the spirit, dear Father, that brings, dear Father, even division and confusion among readers, Jehovah, and decree and declare, dear Father, it has no power over you, dear Father. We decree, dear, and declare, dear Father, that there shall be unity, Jehovah, there shall be love, dear Father, and togetherness, Jehovah, and Lord God, you shall continue, dear Father, even Lord God, to bless the activities of the church, Jehovah, that which they plan as leaders, Jehovah, may it, dear Father, come to be accomplished, dear Father. May you provide, dear Father, the resources, Jehovah, that time, dear Father, we know, dear Father, where all the donor comes from you, because you rule over everything, dear Father. Let there be no lack in our church, Jehovah, but let there be, dear Father, friend, Jehovah, and all the glories that honor shall be unto, dear Father. Continue, dear Father, to touch each and every member of our church, Jehovah. Lord God, continue to meet the desires, dear Father, of each and every member, dear Father. We remember all the groups, Jehovah, you know them, dear Father, even, dear Father, this time, dear Father, all the activities that they have planned ahead of them, Jehovah, may you, dear Father, enable them, dear Father, even, Lord God, to come to the accomplishment, Jehovah, remembering, dear Father, even this group of women, Jehovah, even the children, Jehovah, even the the men, Jehovah, and even Lord God, even remembering, dear Father, the youth, Jehovah, and all the groups of the church, Jehovah. May there be, dear Father, you, dear Father, your Holy Spirit leaning in each and every group, Jehovah. Let, dear Father, you direct the paths, Jehovah, and enable them, dear Father, to accomplish that which you have in store for them, Jehovah. Lord God, we thank you, dear Father, because you shall continue, dear Father, to bless the membership of our church, Jehovah. As Lord God, we come even to your church, Jehovah. Lord God, we shall always see you, Jehovah. And Lord God, we shall worship you, Jehovah. And you shall continue, dear Father, to meet the desires of each and every member of our church, Jehovah. You shall continue to answer to our request according to our riches in glory, Jehovah. You shall even, dear Father, as a congregation, Jehovah, and give us even patience with one another, dear Father, and forgiving, dear Father, each other, Jehovah. The Lord God, as we continue, dear Father, to fellowship together in our various groups, Jehovah, that you as we continue, dear Father, even in our district, Jehovah, and even in our church, Jehovah, you shall continually dear Father, even manifest, dear Father, your mercy, Jehovah, that Lord God, you shall continue, dear Father, even manifest your goodness, Jehovah, and even love and joy to one another, Jehovah, and you shall continually, Jehovah, continue to bless us, Jehovah, you shall not withhold anything good from us, Jehovah, and Lord God, you shall continue to strengthen us and to help us and to uphold us with it. You are right out of righteous Jehovah. And thank you because, dear Father, it is you made us Jehovah and you have a great plans for each and every member of this church, Jehovah. And none of us, dear Father, shall perish, Jehovah. Now and dear Father, shall pluck any member from, from the heart of your heart, Jehovah. But we, we shall live to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the Rivik. And we shall, dear Father, continue, dear Father, to see you do us great. And Lord God, all the glories and honor shall be unto you. Thank you because you are the Lord. You don't sleep. You don't slumber. You are the Lord who is always attentive, listening to our prayers. Jehovah, you are a miracle worker. You are a way maker and a promise keeper, Jehovah. And we trust in you, dear Father, even the, our tomorrow will be better than today, Jehovah. And the purpose and the promise that you have for this church, Jehovah, shall be fulfilled, Jehovah. And Lord God, we know, dear Father, there shall never be anything that will cut it short. There is no powers or personality, dear Father. That shall rise, dear Father, even to frustrate the purpose that you have for Goshen's church, Jehovah. Lord God, we silence even the voices, dear Father, that shall speak evil, dear Father, and even for this church, Jehovah. And you ask that your Holy Spirit will forever reign, Jehovah. You need strength, Jehovah, and teamwork shall be witness, Jehovah. And Lord God, all the glories that don't shall be unto you, dear Father. We thank you, dear Father, even for this time, dear Father, everyone that is represented here, dear Father. May you bless each one of us, Jehovah, and answer to our request according to your riches in glory, Jehovah, meet the desires of each and every member, dear Father, who is here, dear Father, and even our dear Father, families, Jehovah, and all the glories and honor shall be unto you, dear Father. As even, dear Father, you are going to hear your word. We know all the scripture is God breathed, Jehovah, and therefore it is useful to teach us, dear Father, to train us, Jehovah, to rebuke us and to correct us in righteousness, Jehovah. We surrender unto you, dear Father. May you speak to us in a way that we shall understand, Jehovah. Lord God, because you know, dear Father, you honor us, dear Father, even you want more than your name. May you have your way, dear Father. And Lord God, we believe in your one that is living and powerful. And Lord God, have your way and bless us and bless each and every one, dear Father, all for your own glory and honor. And it is in Jesus' mighty name we pray, believe, and trust. A prayer, last prayer for our country. Wambarikiwa. Wale waomba o, wabari ki wa country. Wale waomba o, wabari ki wa. Wale waomba o, na Yesu mwe ye we arise. Thank you, Father, again. Thank you, Father, for our country. We have been crying and praying for you, God, to give us rain, Father. And we have seen it, Father, during magic and 
we have seen you training father all of us we are thanking you for more our hearts father we have seen you giving us all the hope and we have seen your faithfulness oh father <coughs> as a country father we are going through so many difficulties father and whenever we pray father we have seen you coming we have not forgotten father and we are saying that father it is your will and it, it has been done because you wanted it as that way segment of prayers. Now we are going to the next stage. I kindly request Alice to give us that prayer. Yeah. I put sanitizer to make the ah, to my microphone. So at this time, praise Jesus. Are we blessed? If you are blessed, give me J. Give me E. Give me S. Give me U. Give me S. And that is Jesus. And that's my boss. Now we get back to our chair. We give you back the microphone to guide us further. God bless you as you come. Praise God. 
Bwana asifiwe. Praise God. Praise God again. Are you excited? Have you been blessed? Has the session been powerful? Uh, we thank God this far because we have seen his mighty hand working in us. We feel the burdens are lifted in our hearts and we are looking forward to working with this God. We are told those who spend time in God is not wasted time. It's usually a time which brings victory into our eyes. And we thank God for this moment he has given us, this moment we have been in his presence because it's not wasted time. Praise be to God. We are very happy and excited to see our girls. This time we are very many. We thank God. And we know God is going to raise a team of women, a team of girls who are going to worship God. Let's give God a clap for that. Uh, we are very happy. We had a very powerful session this morning, the session of prayers. We thank you, Caroline, for taking us through. And the entire Bethlehem district, it has been powerful, and we appreciate you all. So we are going to go in the second session. Uh, our patron is not with us today. He woke up with some stomach problems, so he has given us his apology. So we remember him in prayers as we continue to pray. So we are going to another session where we want to hear the word of God. And we are still continuing with the topic of prayers. We know the other time we talked about fasting. And this time we want to talk about the guidance of the Holy Spirit. The Bible tells us sometimes we do not know how to pray unless we are guided by the Holy Spirit. Because we are going to take our petition to God, and the Holy Spirit is the only one who understands the mind of God, isn't it? And we need to understand how we can be guided by the Holy Spirit so that we can be a powerful team which can, be, which can pray and which can bring result into our society. Because that is why we are here. And we are very much pleased to have our speaker today, our guest speaker. She's a, called Mrs. Margaret Kiongo. She has been an inspiration to many of us. We have listened to her sermons. They have blessed us. And we know she's going to, God is going to use her in a mighty way so that he can bring this topic to us. Because we desire to know God, to know his power, of his resurrection, his glorification, so that we can be able to walk as women of God, women of purpose, women of influence. Praise be to God. That, that is what we desire. We want to be leaders in the society. We want to influence in our families. We want to influence in our society. We want to influence in our schools. Isn't it, girls? Yeah, because we are women of substance. So we are going to raise up. We welcome with our speaker with a crap offering so that she can take over from there. saved me when I was a young girl, quite young, and when I hear girls are here, girls, I'm so happy to see you here, to see that you woke up early with your parents to come for prayers, oh, we thank God for you, let's clap for these girls, that's great. That's great. So God is good. Um, he's been faithful. He's taken me through so many things. And my desire is to live for him. My desire is to serve him. My desire is to go out for him. Like I, I have come today. 
I'm so excited to have been invited in this place. Thank you for those who sat and thought that at least God would give me a word. Not many, a word for you. A word. I may speak so many things, but a word. What saves people and what helps people is a word. One word from God. If you will know just one word, and it will give you revelation. I mean, you get to understand it within your spirit. That word can take you through in life. In life. That word can fight for you in life. I met a woman the other day, and <laughs> several years back, several years like, maybe seven years back, she was giving me a testimony the other day. She told me I gave her a word. And it's like, I gave you a word. She's telling us the word that we are several women. The word that you gave me one time, it has taken me this far. I mean, I am wondering, I gave you a word? <laughs> it has taken you this far? Even now, it has taken you even now, today, she still prays using that word. Because it was word, the word of God through the Holy Ghost. It was not just a word. So that's why I've started by saying, you need just a word. Let's pray. We are happy this morning for this chance and opportunity that you've given us to listen to you as you teach us how to be led by the Holy Spirit in our prayers. Dear Lord, come and speak to your people. Here they are. I thank you for every word that you have selected and chosen. For each one of these women and girls who love you. Thank you, Lord, that no one shall go out of this place without your liberation, without a word. We bless you and we exalt your name. Thank you for the session that we've had, oh Lord. Thank you. Thank you. We exalt your name. We bless you, Lord. Holy Spirit of the living God, Move and take control. This is your place. These are your people. Speak to us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. So this is our topic. How to be led by the Holy Spirit in our prayers. Or praying in the Holy Ghost being led by the Holy Spirit, being guided by the Holy Spirit. This is our topic. I'm going to give you the introduction God gave me today in the morning. This was not part of what I had decided to give you. But the day I learned that I was coming here, I told God, now, Father, this topic on prayers can be so wide. I, I even don't know where to begin or where to end. And I was telling God, my father, you know what these ladies need? You know them. You know their heart. Help me just to understand what they want to hear. <laughs> this is what I was praying. It, it Help me to understand what they want to hear because I don't know exactly what they mean by being led by the Holy Spirit. Because... Oh, we are Presbyterians, and we understand sometimes when, what it means by when we start speaking on being led by the Holy Spirit. But I decided to speak and to say what the Bible says. So what I will say is not what I, 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 I have myself. It's what the Bible says. If I, spoke, if I speak about speaking in tongues, it is not me who has said it. It is the Bible. So we are going to go the Bible way because it is the word of God. And you people are here because you are hungry. I like the way you people are hungry. I can just see it. And I, when I came there, 
uh, I met my sister leading in prayers here. And it's like, I was now feeling the Holy Spirit of God uh, wants to bless you people. It is good when you go to a place and you, you, you now start hearing from the Spirit that there are things that he wants to do in your midst. So what she was saying is true, that the Holy Spirit is here and he wants to bless us. And, and it is just sad that sometimes God speaks and we are just there and we are allowing the word of God to just go instead of positioning ourselves to be able to take what God is saying he wants to give us at a particular time. So as you sit there, therefore, because that's what it was in the Holy Ghost, that's what I captured when I came in, as we go through this, try and come to your, your, your heart and, and see those things that you want God to do to you. And don't just sit, ask him to give you. Because that's what I captured. It was like the Holy Spirit, you know, things that are in the air, you see. They are in the air, and it's like they are very near, hey, 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 they are very near you, and it's like you are supposed to pick. It's like you are supposed to pick. It's like you are supposed to pick them. One time you are praying with my friends. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. What God wants to do, or has to do, is what we will do. You know, when you come to teach, you don't just say things. There is what you come to say. Now I'm coming out of there. And I know where you are. So I was, I was, we were praying with my friends that I pray with in uh, the church I fellowship. And then I, it, it's like there are fruits that the Holy Spirit wants you to pick, to pick. A fruit means it's something that is now ready. It is not anything you are struggling to grow. These are things that God wants to give readily. And I think I've said that in this church. And then one, one of these ready picks, picks. And she was able to take her child, who was called to form one, in a school where, depending on her, 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 her economy status, she is very low. But God provided people to take her child to school, paid for the child school fees, because she picked when the Holy Spirit said, you pick. Others just stayed. You know, we come to church, we come to church to sit, sitting in church. Well, the word of God is moving, is going on. It is not time to sit. We are seated in the fresh. But in the spirit, your spirit should be really working. And moving around to here, where now the spirit of God is giving you his word. And you take it. And you receive it. And it will work for you. So today, this is what I'm saying. It is like the things that maybe you are praying for, they are not far from you. That's how I felt it. And I don't know how... How sometimes, that, that's the, the way the Holy Spirit talks. And it's like you're supposed just to do this and take. Amen? So take. Let me give you an opportunity to start taking. Start praying. We are running on prayers. That's one way I'm teaching you now how to be. Receiving when a preacher is preaching. That's one. So can you pick? You pick those things now. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings upon these ladies. Thank you, Father, for whatever they are praying for. Thank you for releasing them to them today so easily. We bless you. Oh, we bless you. You are good. Thank you for your grace that you don't want them to struggle in receiving. You brought to them to, for them to pick. Thank you, Lord. I also pick my blessings. Thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. So we have learned one thing, to pick when the word of God is spoken, when it is directed by, by God in prayers. So I want to do an introduction here. And if you don't go by anything, go with this. This is one God gave me in the morning. And we begin with this narrative where God visited Adam in the Garden 
of Eden. And when God used to visit Adam in the Garden of Eden, he spoke to him. He used to speak with Adam. We are talking of speaking because prayer is talking, not to. It is talking with God. For many years, for many years, we have been taught as we grew up that this is talking to God. And when I went to class and I teach, I don't know in which class, then the teacher was teaching us prayers is talking with God. I was like, huh? How? Talking with God? Can God talk to me? Can God talk within me? And I'm telling you, because this is the thing we were given. It is our foundation. Even today for me, it is a big problem. To think that I am actually talking with God. It's a big problem. And I know it is a big problem for you because you are founded in the same foundation that I was founded. And so when we go to churches and we hear people saying, for example, Ben Hin, you know Ben Hin, all of us know him. And most of was talking to me and he was telling me A, B, C, D. And then it's like you go to church and you tell people, you know, God told me this and this. And then they are, and they say, these people think that they are very spiritual and they are very close to God. How are they saying that God talked to them? Because we don't believe that God can talk with us, that I can say, and he can also say. That's not our foundation. And, and yet, from the beginning... We see God talking with Adam. Then God, give, God, God was giving me the revelation. Oh, so prayers is not only when I go to a place and I now decide I want to pray. No. Prayer is when I am even reading the Bible. Because when I'm reading the Bible, I am talking with the God. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, we should have the consciousness that even when I'm reading the Bible, I'm actually praying. It's only that we have this word for prayers so that at least we can differentiate there is Bible study and there is actually now people going to, actually now they are not reading the Bible, they are now praying to God. But in the real sense, I, I, I got shocked when God gave me this revelation that even when I'm reading the Bible, I'm talking with God. And so, if prayers is talking with God, then when I am therefore reading the Bible, I am talking with God. And as I read the Bible, I can ask God question as I read. And in fact, God will answer you easily when you are reading the Bible than when you actually sit like this and you are, you, and, 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 and you are praying. So God from the beginning talked with the people he created first. And this God, when he, 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 he found, he found that when he, after he created Adam, that Adam was lonely. And a God who talks feels, I want you to follow this very carefully because there's somewhere I'm going to. A God who talks feels, I've created Adam and he's living alone. And then he feels that Adam is lonely. Because God is a talking God, he's able to find that now Adam is talking with who? So he decided to create Adam, Eve, somebody whom they will be talking with each other. So God is a talking God. God is a talking God. So Adam had somebody to talk with. Unfortunately, they talked evil and they fell and we came to where we were and we were found seen as the Mutkiori Amekire that you got it out of the Kuni Todua Mahida. And that's how now, after they had fallen into sin, God sets Jesus 
and he comes here on earth. And Jesus is also a talking Jesus. He selects his own or he finds his own 12 disciples. And we see him asking them questions. And they are answering. Praise God. This is a talking God. He wants to know, are they following what I'm telling them? Is their faith growing? So he, he, he is, he's talking with them. He's going around showing them several things. Like one time he, he cast a, a, a tree. And he actually was casting it because he was teaching them on prayers. He was teaching them that when you pray, you should have faith. And so the following day when they go across the same place, and I know he actually decided that they passed that route. Jesus was very clever. He was a very good teacher. And then he's walking around the tree and just assuming like he's not seeing it. He's assuming it because he's not the one who told them to look. No, they are moving. And then Peter says, oh, teacher, look. And then Jesus looks and, oh, the tree is dried. Then Jesus tells them, have faith in God. He's teaching them to have faith that after they say what they say in their prayers, they should believe that it is done and therefore it is the tree happened as Jesus has said. It was not cut. If he said we will find it cut tomorrow, they would have found it cut. But now it dried because Jesus used the word dry. He did not say it should be cut. He said dry. And so the tree actually dried. So Jesus teaches them a, a lesson there to have faith in God. So what I'm driving at, at here is that God is a talking God. And as he talks, he wants to talk with who? Then after Jesus le left, and before he left, he tells the disciples, I will leave you the Holy Spirit of God. This is our topic. And he will stay with you. I don't want to leave you as orphans. I want to leave you with somebody who will be talking with you. Hey! Somebody who will be talking with you. So that he will be teaching you. He will be directing you. He will be guiding you when you don't know what to do. He will be helping you where you need help. I want to leave you with somebody. And actually, this somebody came on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2. The Holy Spirit came. So God is that talking God. God, hey, God talked with Adam himself now. God, in the Garden of Eden. While Jesus was in this world, he used to talk with his disciples. Hey, Akamaruta Akaria now. And we said, prayers is talking with God. Now, in this our dispensation, the God we have, who is with us, is not the God who was with Adam in the Garden of Eden. It is not the Jesus who is God in the flesh. Now, the God we have is the Holy Spirit. My question is, if God used to talk with those in the Garden of Eden, if, if Jesus used to walk with those that he lived with physically, the God of today, the Holy Spirit of the living God, who lives in you, does he talk with you? I ask, does he like talking with you? Does he talk to you? No, this is our problem now. Because we would like a physical God, like the one and a physical Jesus, the Holy Spirit is unseen God. He's not seen. So that one is very hard to think that he talks to us. Yet because we are believers, we are believers, and a believer believes in things that they don't see. You cannot be a believer when you see things. I don't have to believe this is a songbook. I can see it. So you are a believer. Because what you believe, you don't see. Without seeing him, we love you. Without seeing him, we love him. We don't see him. 
So these, our God is a believer of today should have the consciousness. The Holy Spirit is in me, and now I'm talking with him. That's why I was able to come here. They are sat there behind, and I knew he is saying something. Now, if you don't least know that he is saying something, like now the way he was saying it, will you pick it? So you come to church, you sing, you pray, and you leave to church, you never heard. The Holy Spirit never spoke to you. Yet, he's a God in your heart. Yet, he's always with you even when you are sleeping. He's still talking in dreams. Some people don't, they don't believe in dreams. I had one pastor say that, hey, I, he doesn't believe in dreams and like I'm wondering, you don't believe and when, when, when Jesus was young and wanted to be killed, the age of the Lord used to come to Joseph in dreams and warning him that now take away the child from here because Herod wants to kill him and you don't believe in dreams. Yet as a Christian, you should dream more. It is part of our prayers. You should dream more. Even when you are sleeping, you should tell God, God give me a dream. It is God speaking to you. It will become a point of reference for prayers. <laughs> well, I, 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 I told you the other day when I came here, we were very sick. We were very sick, me and my husband, during the corona time. And actually my husband left. He passed. And I used to see announcement for death. We used to look with him. And I would tell my husband this. You see this corona. The person that is designed to take, to die, will die. It has not come for everyone. It has come for particular persons, and they will die. Then we will just watch. And... Then around that time, I dream. I don't know whether it's a dream. I think it was a vision because it's like, I don't know when this happened, but I, I remember seeing, and I see my picture, me and my husband and another couple goes, very fast. And then, I just know, annoying, annoying in the spirit, annoying that one of these couples is going to die. And I forgot that if you see people in vision, if you see yourself and another person in vision, it is not the other person. The story is for you. You see, God would want to want to tell you you are dying. He wants to you you to use your uh, the revelation by the Holy Spirit. So. <clears throat> But I want to say this. I'm talking about dreams now and visions. <clears throat> before Corona came, before Corona came, I had seen myself. A picture that I had taken when I was yet a girl in my 20s. I saw that picture before me, looking young and very nice. And then... Uh, it's like I am wondering, God, you want me to start praying about not aging like it is there in Psalms 103, I think verse 3 or something, that God will renew our youth as the egos. I normally pray with that. It's not wrong to pray that you remain young because we need to remain young. That is in Psalms 103, you can be praying using it if you have a revelation for it. So I am seeing myself. Oh, that is, that's gone. So I, be, I begin praying that way. Then another thing happens. I see myself uh, carried in a, in a vehicle back left. And this vehicle is a big vehicle. How did I know it was a big vehicle? Because when I was coming from it, I was actually dropping down. You see, these are the small vehicles you, you have to, so that you enter. But in this one, I'm sitting, and my legs are down, so I'm coming from a, a bigger vehicle. And I tell my husband, I see myself coming out from a big vehicle. God is going to give me a big vehicle. 
I want you to follow this closely. So I get sick. We are learning about prayers. <laughs> now we have come to dreams and, and visions. So we are now sick, very sick. And my husband passed on, but I am left very sick. I think you can remember when I came here last time. I was very thin. I was very I went to Kemonyo where I used to, to learn before, to, to, to go to church before. Wakaniona, wakalia sana kwenye kanisa. Walikuwa kiuliza na, yule ni waki oga, ya ni hawa nijui. Mutu wana nipita, my sister imagine, mutu wana nipita, hawa ni nimimi. <laughs> That's how bad I was. Oh, then the other day, I remembered this. There is something God was teaching me about the picture I had seen. And God wanted me when I am so sick and finished and dying this way, this way, to remember, he had showed me that my sickness is not for death. My sickness, though we, you see it was corona, we were dying, yeah, we were A. Hey, I had to be very strong for me not to die. This picture was supposed to help me build my faith that I will not die, I will live. So God wanted to give me this image so that I, st I, 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 I live by it and believe that I will live. The vehicle. My husband had his vehicle. That was his because I had mine, the one I normally come with here. His vehicle is Haria. That is the vehicle I have come by here. And I realize when I'm coming from Haria, I actually go to hear my legs so that I come out. And that was the vehicle. Sad that my husband passed. But he was to go because many other went who were destined to go that particular time. So dreams are good, that's what I'm saying. And visions are good. So don't agree to people who tell, tell you that dreams and visions are not good. These are people who are killing your prayers. And then we go by the Bible. The Bible says they are dreams. Joseph, Pharaoh dreamed. And Joseph became very great because of the Pharaoh's dreams. God talks with us in prayers, in dreams. And when you see dreams, you see where we are going at. We are learning about prayers. They become your point of reference for your prayers. Kuhoya, no doshi yoronide. Zegi yoronide yodomoru. Oka menye haa ni yodo wakoro wanagu haa haa. Odosyo oka regana nagu. Toto ni wanide okwe yodole kate ya. Tikoro oto ga ikaro uo tu gai. No ginyo hoya. Maudumaya maga ide. Meke kagana mahoya. Do you know that? Not that God wants you to pray. Not that God wants you to pray. Well. I skipped a bit that our time is the time of the Holy Spirit and so he is with us and know that he talks and here. So what I wanted to tell us in this, my introduction is that and I said I don't want to leave, you better go with this and don't go with anything else. Have the consciousness that God is there and he's talking with you. Just have that consciousness. On a query, we get the cohoya, do you go out the mahoya? They got away, take the way root there. Uga get a little tiny thought on the word that I did at you. Daddy Quadia Nagai, Mosoka Kugo. It is a conscious, you say, no more to my macero. On a gun of mood, I get them out of my gemane and a macero. A cow nadia, nake nake, no consciousness. Nico, ne, ukaro, and awareness at the Gainia Hona and Yanaga, take it out. So what we have done is that Jesus, like the way he had, he was during the storm, when he was in that ship and he was sleeping on a pillow. That is how we have allowed the Holy Spirit to sleep in our hearts. Nothing a disciples made the makira Jesus okira okira. Todo mne kodo kire go oko da gi okiri de na woka magi akiri atia. Ogo ni kodo kete ni kodo gaya rada ida gaya gihari dia gaya zama andi adasi yogu ate. On our holy, the Maria Piro, Gorinisito, Acometa, my sister. 
The Holy Spirit of God wants to do so much things through you, my sister. But he's sleeping. He's sleeping. Isaiah says, Arise, for your right has come. Arise, okay now. The Holy Spirit. Who is the dunamis power of God? The power of God that created the whole earth. That Holy Spirit. Who did that? Who brought Jesus from death? He is in you. Yet, the consciousness at the equo, Nanyaradia Nadu, Odosio Toara Hore, Toara Hore, and I need to do the Quara Hora, Odosio Mono, Mono. In Dogaman Yakira gave the Nevaku Ginawe Tekera Quaja Coder on a Gaina Quara Hore. The other day I was called to church. A Hana to Nakinia. No, Koro would never go to work for the Gatuga. There is this ready. This, this year, around what? Around March. There's this young lady, she's married and like she has three children, but she realizes they try to do this business, it fails. The other business, it fails. And it's like she knows it is not my husband. This thing is it's like in me. This lady, I used, she was my student. And I, she used to love praying. She was praying so much. She, she says, where well, she's talking to us, and um, I, 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 I don't feel like going to church. I'm listening. We are with her aunt. Her aunt has called me. We come and pray with her. And then I'm listening and I'm seeing this one. It sounds like demonic. This one is sound like an attack. It's like, this one is like an attack. Then it's like, I tell her to say these words that are found in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 22, I think. It says, I am the righteousness of God. I am the righteousness of God. You are the righteousness of God. And then she says after me, like five times, the sixth time, or like the fifth times, she can't see it. She can't say it. The, 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 the devil now refuses her to say. She a demon now. Here now, I am now dealing with a demon. And like when I go to pray to her, we are behind our church in Kemonyo, they are pews. We pews. They pews. She falls. And then she go under those pews. She is going like a snake. Today now, I realize now here, if I am not ready now, I am dealing with a demon now. And it's naked. And then I was able to cast the demon out. I praise God for this. And the demon came out. And immediately she cried. She cried so loud. And then she Oh, now I am free. Now I'm free. This is what I'm saying. We have the dunamis power of God created the whole universe. He is in you. And maybe even here, you are being tormented by the demons, and yet you have, you are a believer. You have the dunamis. You know, it's because of just praying prayers that are not led by the Holy Spirit. And we are going to know right now how, how, how what is this? How comes one person, the demons can listen to one person, and then cannot listen to other person, and yet you are all praying. She's being pray, prayed for. Nothing happened. So it also shows we are not the same in our faith. We are not the same. 
And it's not correct to think that we, we will all pray for a person to get healed. It's like when we go, all of us, to a place, we pray for somebody and somebody gets healed. Don't think it's all of you who pray. Hey, it is not all of you who prayed. There is one of you here who has an anointing. It is not all of you who prayed one. And that's why this person was pray, being, praying and being prayed for and nothing was happening. Nado mati da ako manya ogwa mekera ga mekera ga ido dio si ako giri ama manya te ngani ano ewe na keheo is demonic ona kwa ga kumanya ngani ano ewe na keheo niki todo ni ora iwa ngai na hado he na le na le wa nego kira ko kira agiri ogwe ta my sister mere my sister neje ne hota na ga ndo dio ka ho ere ngani ya but people don't like that when they know somebody has a gift they do that wa ho ire niki this is, a, this is us. <laughs> but God is good. So we are saying, consciousness. Have the consciousness. Ate I am also learning. Yeah? Oh, oh, all right. Thank you so much. Yeah, so the, this, this consciousness, we, you, you, you need to know that he's speaking to you always. See, you saw God speaking to them in the Garden of Eden, and Jesus talk, walking to them, with them here and talking in the same way. That is the intensity in which God is speaking to you is the same intensity. Guy, it is the same intensity. He's speaking to you with all the every day, always. But we are not trained to hear. Somebody like Ben Hin will come and start saying, uh, the Lord is telling me right now. That's so and so. As that's why I'm saying I'm also running, but at least I know that. At least I know that. Because it's good to know that, 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 than when you, you don't know. He's, he's telling them. They say, he's doing, so and so has a problem. And I pray that one of these days God will take me there. That's why we are seeking God. So that when I come to this place, I can know the needs of my sister. I can know. I can know. It is good. Because one that is known by somebody else, the thing is done. Because once God reveals it, it is done. Things that are revealed are ours. They are already done. So there are some of the things that we should uh, we should uh, have when we are praying. Some of the points that we we should uh, think of, and for you to know that your prayers are led by the Holy Spirit, you need to know God's word. You know why. Have you heard somebody who does not go into ch doesn't go to church or even who doesn't read the Bible praying? If you tell somebody who doesn't go to church to pray and doesn't read the Bible, doesn't do both to pray, do they agree? Yeah? Do they agree? They can't. Because it's like, how will I pray? This one is serious. I want you to, to, to sink it in your, your, in your heart. How can somebody who doesn't know the word of God pray? How? So for you to be a good prayer, you have to know the word of God. And you have to read and read and read it and read it and read it and read it and read it. You know why I'm saying and read it and read it, read it and read it? Because as, as you read the word of God and it is six in your heart, it is six in your heart. Let's say, for example, you are reading a verse. You read it today. You read it tomorrow. You read it. You read it. You know what will happen? God gives you a revelation. Now that verse, you know it. Now you know that verse. If you just read and it doesn't seek in your heart, 
you don't know that verse. You are saying it. You are saying it like another, just any sentence in a storybook because the Bible is a storybook. Hey, that is true. The Bible is a storybook, yes, about God. The Bible becomes the word of God after you read that verse and then you are given a revelation. You are given a revelation. You know that verse now deeply. It enters in you. At once, that verse enters in you and you know it. Listen to me, this point is very important. And even when you are listening to people preach. When you know that thing by revelation, you are taken to another level of glory. Guy, anytime you have revelation, you go a step higher. You will, that, that is like a, a, a child was in a, what do they call them today? I used to be a teacher, now I have forgotten. What do they call it? Saturday one is what? Today. <laughs> grade one. It's like you are in grade one. Now you are taken to another grade. In the spiritual realm, we go to, 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 to other grades, to other levels by revelation. Not, not, not reading the word and knowing it. Somebody can tell, can tell every story in the Bible from A to Z, from Genesis to Revelation, but doesn't have the spirit of God in them. So you need to have revelation for the word of God. So for you to be a good prayer person, read the word of God until you know it, until you have revelation. Not one, one verse, many verses, many things in the Bible, know them, then you become deep. You've heard somebody say, hey, that prayer is deep. Somebody said, it is not the prayer that is deep. Those prayers, eh? Yale mambi yanaombo na unasikia anaenda binguni. Yanaenda yote unasikia yanakibia binguni. It is not the prayer that is deep. It is that person who is deep. It is not the prayer that is deep. Ni huyo mtu ambaye ako deep na na neno la Mungu. Modo molikeru ahoya kama hoya malikeru. When you are deep in prayers, when you are deep in the word, you are able to produce deep prayers. So whenever you hear deep prayers, know that we are to anajua nini? Mugu. Anajua neno la mungu. So let's read a lot. Let's read a lot. If we are going to be read by the Holy Spirit in our prayers, you wonder why your prayers maybe don't read it. It is because you don't read the word. You read it on Saturday. You read it when you come to church, when people preach to you. Have a lot of time to, to, to read the word. Wake up early. Wake up at night. If you want to grow. The other thing is that let God be an intimate friend to you. Intimate. That's why Jesus taught us, introduced our prayers. No, it's okay. Let me not go so far. Not go so far. Why go go so far? In that way, Rudo Karuga, Maokia, Nogoro, go so far. Gai Karadi. So, not okay. Let me not. Okay, let me not. Have an intimacy with God. When Jesus came. He, wa he introduced us to God who was so close to us. He did not bring a God who is a king in heaven, who is so much, who stays there. Mm -mm. He brought to us a father. Then he teaches us to pray to our father. So God is our father. So the way you go to your father, most of us have had fathers. Is the way God wants to go, you to go to him like a father. Tell your father, God, here I am not able. I am weak at this, dear Lord. I am not. Help me. Anakupatia nguvu, anakusaidia. He's our father. So as you pray, pray to God as a father. Don't go to him fearing. Some people go to God fearing because I don't know what you did. No, he's your father. He's ready to forgive us when we go to him this way. Uh, let him be your father. 
and is going to answer your prayers. The other thing, as you pray, focus on God. When you pray, what do you focus on? We are praying. We want to be read by the Holy Spirit. This is how now to be read. This is the attitude you should have when you are praying. This is the attitude we don't have. That's why our prayers are weak. That's why our prayers don't produce anything. We focus on God. Here you have a problem. You are sick. Or there is something that looks like dying here. What do you do? Do you look at this that is dying? Or do you look at God? If you want to pray in the spirit, refuse to look at things down here. Refuse to look at your problems because the devil wants you to look at them. Yes, you are dying, but you see you are not dying. See you are living. See, say you will not die. That way you pray, you are led by the Spirit. When you know how to position yourself that way, you will be led by the Holy Spirit. Because you are sowing to faith. On a faith in the heart, I get all we only know how to sow seeds. Begu kwa kanisa pesa. Unapada begu. Kuna pia kupanda kwenye roho na kwenye imani. Unapanda. Sazira unaona mimi razima. Sita agalia shida zagu ni agalia buwana. You are planting. And you know, whatever you sow is what you reap. If you reap to the fresh, you reap fresh. If you, if you plant to the fresh, you reap fresh. If you plant to the spirit, you reap the things of the spirit. Kogo kota, kurona agai, nejere ya kota, kwa mchere idosi ya muadhani. Bwana asifiwe? Eh, usirale. Mwabia asirale. Eh, kuna muta anataka kurara. The other one is know that God loves you. Have the consciousness that God loves you. Kainia kwe tete. He ni shida sana kwa watu wengi waki, wakija kwenye maombi. Kwa sababu mara nyingi sisi si wakosaji. Sisi ni wakosaji tukiwa wanawake ni wakosaji. Kuna labda mtu alisikia mwanamke akitukana mwanamke yule mwingine. Hapa kwenye hawafanyi hivyo. Ama mwanamke mmoja aka gossip kwenye mwanamke mwingine na hapa kwenye hamufanyi hivyo. Ama mwana mkefurani akatukana mtoto wa wenye na hapa kwenye hatuna na hayo maneno. Sasa nyota mtakuja hapa kanisani. Unajua muna juwana? Muna juwana. And then muna jua mama jeli alitukana mama wajiro. Na sasa muko hapa kanisani mkiogea. Na, na oge muonage togo liya praise and worship. In worship hale. Unajua. Na unajua wanasema hivyo. And yet. Wewe. vile wanasema hata unaona waki nongonezana no, unaona wakiongea ongea utafanya nini don't worry this this is the time now you 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 you, you just know your relationship with god si ulimwambia kusamehe eh, na si yeye alikusamehe eh, na si ni yeye alikufa msalabani sababu ya dhambi zako eh, ni yeye eh, na ni yeye anasema there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus eh, na ni yeye anasema hakuna mtu mwingine atakujudge ni yeye atakujudge na amekusamehe sasa sasa usifikirie juu ya hayo pray because god loves you unconditionally. Don't, don't ever allow people to, 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 you know, kufanya ufifia katika imani yako, sababu ati ulitenda. Pana amuka na uedele tu. Amuka msichana, ati kuliwezaliwa mtoto. Au si mtupe huyo mtoto. Usito hiyo mimba. Turete mtoto. Turete tutalea tu. Manaki ya mekuja. Na usiache kukuja kanisa. Kuja. Alie kufia, anasema kalibu mwanangu ni nakupenda. Na atasikia maobi yako. Manake, God loves you unconditional. I'm not saying you go getting children. No. Stay away from those things. God lo doesn't love them. He hates unrighteousness. He doesn't like us living in those things. You know them. Ondoka kwa, hizo, kwa haya mambo. Lakini, mambo ya kienda murama, jo kwa kia nakupenda. Na napenda wiyo mtoto. Tumeona hata mungu watoto wengine hao amba walizaliwa inje. Dioma prophets. Nini mnacheza na mungu? Dioma, 
We don't know what is be. We even don't know. You don't know. You realize somebody who was born out of wedrock. I hear King David was born out of wedrock. I hear that. And yet, this was a man after God's own heart. He lo God loves him. He loves him so much. And he allowed the spirit of God to dwell in King David. So, that's why we don't know how to do what? To pray. That's how we, why we don't know how to pray. Because if you are in the spirit, you can even know this child. Imagine And when when we are we welcoming them, to naenda kuapokea to kiimba. All of a sudden, although I will come to that, I don't know whether we'll have time. So it's good for me to say it now. I spoke in tongues. I was not prepared. Tongues just came. And I, I cried. Normally when God wants to do things in my tongues, within my tongues, I normally cry. And they come so sad and I was not ready. And then after you go to, to the house, I find God is dropping a message about this child to me. And then he's, God is telling me to tell these parents, watoto wawili, wamekuja wawili, lakini huyu kijana, naniye mdogo kuliko mstana, mungu ananiambia ni muambia wa wazazi huyu, nasi ule, you know, he's like the Holy Spirit, huyu, nasi ule, nasi ule, amedharau ama nime mimi, nime dharau, na mimi si kuchuse, mungu anasema huyu, si mtoto hivyo, huyu ni mtoto ananeema ya mungu sana. Na kabila hawaja nini, wa hawaja pewa, hawa watoto. Mimi sijia tu wanataka ku, ku adopt watoto. Ni, ni kaota ndoto. Na ni kamuambia yule mtu, ni kamuambia ni meota, umepewa koti. Those who know what koti is in the, in the Bible. Bible, what is a court? What, what do you call it? Who can help me? Jina linapotea, lakini ta kuambia. Ogirota na igo titi, igo titi. What do you call this thing, uh, Elija Neire, Elisha? Yeah, it's like a mantle. A court is like a mantle. And I'm telling this man, I dreamt to look at the court. 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 Alierewa. Nimeota na nikaona anaenda nini? Kuadopt watoto. Unaona sasa katika ndoto yangu ni manto. Ni manto. Sasa walipokuja tena Roho Mungu bado ana ananifuata tena na ile dream ananionyesha sasa huyu mtoto si mtoto tu. Unaona kutoka zamani alikuwa ni manto. Kedo kiamule. Kitu Mungu ame amefanya nini? Ametakaza so here I am. So this man tells me, they went to different places, three people. When they heard this, this child, they said, this one is not just a child. And I tell God, God, don't allow me to die until I know who you taught what I'm doing. Manake mungu aliongea juyake. This is part of our prayers. That's how God wants to do with, with us. By the Holy Spirit. So, we should have such an intimacy with the word of God. Ndiyo inakufanya weza nini? Ata kufunirua mambo, mambo ni yapi. Uh, na inakuwezesha kuweza kuomba vizuri. Hapale ni, niliomba kwa, kwa the Holy Spirit. Na tutafika hapo. Holy Spirit on kazi yake when we pray in tongues. I seek God with your heart. With all your heart. Na utoe nini? Hii tunajua. Kuna mtu ajoe. Ondoa pride. Ondoa greed. Odoa gossip, odoa unforgiveness, odoa selfishness, odoa lust, odoa hatred, odoa. Hiyo mamba yote, odoa. Na hiyo si tunaodoa kila wakati. Ata yesu alisema, before you pray, do what? Forgive those who have sinned against you. Kwa hivyo mungu anataka kuomba na sisi, roho zetu zikuwa safi. 
Kwa hivyo si unforgiveness tu unajua Yesu aliguza tu pale Matthew chapter 6 about what forgiving those who have wrong to you. Lakini si hiyo tu. Hiyo hizo dhambi zingine zimekaa ndani yetu tutoe. Unajua kuna dhambi dhambi zingine kali sana. <laughs> you, you know you know like uh, when people commit adultery. The Bible says it is sin against your body. You are sinning against your body. But there are sins that are in your heart. Wacha nisisembe hiyo kwa sababu hiyo itapotosha wengi. Lakini hiyo hiyo iko juu nikisema si safi. Lakini kuna madhambi mengine kama pride nini ni hizo dhambi ni baya sana. Mungu atakataa kusikiliza wewe. Atakataa kusikiliza wewe. Unanoa dhiki acha niseme tu. Anaweza kusikiliza mtu ambaye amefanya usherati. Si na genesi ya bond. Na hiyo uh, pride and forgiveness. Nini nini? Nini nini? Ifanye usisikie Mungu. That's why we, we have these pastors who do everything around. Have you seen them? Who are known to have ex wives. Go, go to their churches, they are preaching and they are praying people and they are getting healed. Can you raji gua? But this dhambi yi ya roho yi. Gore yaku yi ule tone maoto maroro wea ume nanga adoe ume nanga adoe ume ume te yu ume kinyato ne moa yi tora. This woman is proud. She is very proud. Uji obe sana. Uji obe. Manaka yiyo mamba mungu apendi. Very proud, very rebellious spirit inside you. Ni kuchafu, ni kubaya. Utaomba hauta sikiwa. God hates pride, for example. Another row. Another row. Let's, so, let's search our hearts before we pray. Not only for, did I see wrong somebody? What did I do? Not, not mostly, what did I do? But what is in my heart? Demo yidiri yate, demo aliri yate. Wacha hizo kwanza, safisha nini? Roho, lakini yata hiyo, kana watu wengine vizuri. Heshimu watu, vizuri. The other one is that, know who you are. Oh, this is very important. Hey, when I'm... You know, I've listened to people pray, and most people will say, sasa sisi, watu wanyogi, hatuna gubu, Tunakuja kwa kwa mugu, sisi unajua ni wanawake, na wanawake kama sisi unajua hatuna kumuhi, sidiyo, hatuna sini ukweli. E, mabwana zetu wakikuja, wapete kutupiga, si watatupiga. Saa tunaobaga hiyo, hati women are weak, I'm telling you. Oi, that is praying from the fresh point of view. Iyo maobi nanyo, <laughs> ati, ati unakuwa humi, habo. Before God, Mungu anakuangalia na kuhurumia. Hiyo si humility. Humility tio guo. Asha. Huko ni kujidharau, ni kuiira. We pray. Let me see this point. I may not go to another one. There is what we were. Know who you are. You have to know who you are. You are a son of God. You are a son. And you know a son is normally an heir. Kijana wa mtu, yule ambaye utapatia vitu vyako ukiwa mzee. Ni yule utamwambia ile duka ni yako, ile shaba ni yako. Huyo ndio kijana wa mtu. Na wewe uko sani ya Mungu. Kwa hivyo Mungu anataka uombe kama wewe ni son. Si kujiwanga hiyo. When I started praying that way, it is now how today I can pray for somebody like I was telling you, na demon is okay. Because I pray, hey, I don't pray like I am weak. Hey, you should see me when I'm praying for somebody who needs, I am strong in faith, I am a son. What do you think, how do you think the son of Ruth or Evie came here? And you try to obstruct him with a vehicle there. And you come out from the vehicle and tell you, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? 
na hata kuambia i am rutos san kusikia tu hivyo wewe umejua ni nani na yeye hakutoka akiogopa manake akiogopa hata wewe utaona huyu hata kama ni rutos san ni bure lakini wewe unajua wewe ni nani unajua ni utaogopa when you know who you are that is how satan sees you wewe unajijua na wewe unajua ni nani wewe ni nani unajua I said these things of the Holy Ghost it's consciousness ne kumenya in your mind. Shetani alikiona tu unakuja kuobea mtu ndio unaona akitoroka vile huyo shetani alitoka kwa huyo msichana. Manake mimi si kuenda kama mtu anaogopa nikiomba na yeye nilienda like a son of hey like a son. Like a son my sister. Like a son. A son of God. The creator of the whole universe. Who was saved by Christ? Christ was seated above, above all things. So when I become a son, I'm also allowed the privilege of sitting above all things. So the devil then is now a dummy. And I know that because I know that. Do you know that that you are a son of God? Do you walk like a son? How do you walk? How do you pray? Don't care when you are praying. Now, you are a son and an heir. And these things are yours because you are a son. <laughs> that is how to be led by the Holy Ghost. It is knowing what the Holy Spirit wants you to pray. It's knowing how he wants you to pray. Like a son of God. Manake Mungu amekuokoa, Yesu amekuokoa na umeokoka na umekubali akuokoe. Wewe umefanyika kuwa mwana wa Mungu. Umefanyika kuwa mwana wa Mungu. Mm. Yeah, this one I was to talk here. Tiga kudhaidha guy. Don't ya kumudhaidha. Do you know when Christ died on the cross? Most of these things like healing they are yours. You are son. Atakuja kukudhaidha umpatie mali when you are old and dying. Atakuja kwa baba niachie, mama mniachie. Naomba mniachie. Naomba mnia guys, see the vitu ni vyao. Why do you thy that God when you are praying? Oh until we we are oh God. Oh God. that is faithless. It's it's having no faith. I'm sorry to say that. We do pray that way but I'm telling you it is lack of faith. It is lack of faith and it is lack of knowing who you are. Ido cia thoguo ni guko ni agaku ne to ni ciaku. Healing is ours. Is ours. Well is ours. God says he given wealth. It is ours. That's why he says I give rain to everybody. I don't choose. That's why he gives the wealth to everybody even Muslims. He gives Muslims. Adadas whoever Buddhist and he gives wealth God has given us. And yet unakiera, oi mwadhani. And that's why we don't receive. We are not praying. We are not being led by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is wandering. Unaomba nini? Unaomba namna gani? Ujui wewe ni nani? Na anataka ujue wewe ni nani? Anataka ujue. Ndio anakaa hapa ili akuogoze. Ndio unasikia watu wengine ati nilipewa gari. Ati nilirunirua nyumba. Ati nini? Mtu anatoa ushuhuda unashidwa huyu anatoa nini? Ni kwa sababu anajua kuoba. Anajua kuoba. Eh ni sana. Ukiwa mwanafunzi unaomba Mungu akuongoze katika exams. I remember one time when I was in college nilikuwa mgonjwa hivi sikuwa nikiweza kusoma. And then it's like I'm telling God niambie kile kitakuja kwenye mtihani na unitaarisha mimi za vile nilikuwa na shida nilikuwa mgonjwa and, and, and like I am seeing in one of the paper kutakuja a question on law niliona kwenye karatasi kumeandikwa the law the law and when I went to, to that room to do my exam the first question was on the law So I closed my my eyes and I told God God thank you I have passed the exams 
have passed. That's how you, 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 you learn even in class. You, mungu wana, unazabia mtu, mungu, niambia kile kitakuja kwenye mapipas zangu, za form 4, za hile kori, aki atakuambia. Weba utachoka sana kusoma, unajua mungu ataka kitu choke. Do you know God says don't labor so much, labor the labor of faith. You know, in Hebrews, I think chapter 2, verse, verse 4. Labor the labor of faith. You know, the labor of faith. You know, 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 Sisemi usikasome, lakini amini sana more than you are reading. Girls, are you getting me? More than you are reading. Aki utapita. So in college, eh, watu, kuna wale watu waliada kurudia mitihani. Wale waliaguka. And then my dorm mate were waiting for me. <laughs> they were waiting for me to go. That time we were in teaching practice, tunangojia mitihani. Eh, eh, Exams, you talk, that's how you used to go uh, to do uh, those days in college. We were, we were in teaching practice. So we had to come back, then we come for graduation. So, from their teaching practice, my roommate waited for me. Who? Unajua aliona siku. Siku soma sana, siku soma sana. So when they came, I came back, they were telling me that. I told them I was praying. God enabled me to pass because ni kuleba ya imani ufanya kazi sana kwa nini? Ni ni mnata uko kule baba ya fi. So ndo yake na mta uko fio hau. Hau fio. Ndo ni go biblia yugaga. Wera ore ore rutanga munene ne wawe tikio kuruta. Wera wawe wetekia 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 wetekia. Ni ngatha ona business ya ku Mungu abariki business ya ku manako umeamini. This is how to pray. The other thing is, Siju kama munda umeisha? Umeisha? Eh? Umeisha? Wacha niyacha hiyo, nikibie kwenye eh, hiyo, tutasoma siku ingine. Lakini ni kuwacha tu hii. Pray from a place of authority. Pray from a place of authority. Na kwamba umepewa nguvu, umepewa nguvu. Pray for from that place. See, you are to pay authority. You are not to Where we order things to happen. Uh, authority is to give order, is to make decision, is to enforce obedience. And I will find you. I am I'm going to come to praying in tongues. Praying. You people, would you like to pray in tongues? No matter how you are not Serious. Sorry, Uli. Because uh, the way we have actually read. And maybe as we finish, we can read this. We can read uh, second, um, First Corinthians in Akuanga chapter 12. Then I'll tell you how you, you pray until you speak in tongues. Because speaking in tongues is very important. I have told you how it gave me revelation on a child. Uh, sorry. Praying in tongues. Uh, and I think that's what we are trying to say in Romans 8.26. Dio meandika pale. Akini chapter 14. First Corinthians chapter 14. Simtu mingini atusome hili. Tusiboeke sana. From verse. Wakuna zina. Utachukua ya kupale. Just begin from verse 1. Ntakuambia pale, you stop. 
First Corinthians 14, which he says, Make love your aim and earnestly desire the, the spiritual gift, especially that you may prophesy. For one who speaks in the tongue, speak not to men but to God. For the one who understands him, but he utters mysteries in the spirit. One on the other hand, he who prophesies speaks to men for their upbuilding up and encouragement and consolation. He who speaks in tongues and defies himself, but he who prophesies and defies the church. Now I want you all to speak in tongues, but even more to prophesy. He who prophesies is greater than he who speaks in tongues, unless someone interprets so that the church may be edified. Now, brethren, if I come to you speaking in tongues, how shall I benefit you unless I bring you revelation or knowledge or prophesy or teaching? Even if lifeless instruments such as flute, harp, do not give distinct notes, how will anyone know what is played? And in the bulge give an in, indistinct sound, he, he will get ready for the battle. Mm, I think that is okay because of also time. That is up to eight. Oh, up to eight. Now, when I saw my yoyote, when I saw my yoyote here, uh, praying in tongues. Why is it important? To, thank you so much. Thank you so much, dear. How is it important to pray in tongues? Now, when I here, you speak to God. When you're praying in tongues, you speak to God. You utter mysteries. Would you hear enough? Say, Marakini, Unazaku, Unasema, Mambo, Yamaishayako, Ujui. That's what we mean by uttering mystery. Ujui. Now to speak in tongues, Shida Urikua Nayo, Uondolewe. Because you are uttering mysteries. Here in Guinea, when you speak in tongues, Unajijenga, Unafunzo, Unamungu, Unajijenga. Bana Sifiwe. Eh, Faivo, Paul Anasema, we should speak in tongues, all of us. We should speak in tongues. Like in the Kanisa, Iriana Kamba Kama Kuanga and our tongues. Nikama Kurikua and Ashida, Nakuku and Ashida, Kisama chapter 14, Utahona, see Shida Kurikua, Kurikua and Ashida, our order of service. How could you and Nini to Tafanya, Nikuoba and our tongues, Amaniku, Biriwa, Amanin? Sequiz the Kanisa Zinajua, Kunawaka Tulet, Shiata Kanisa to Kunawaka Tulet, now Banga Sisizote. Sasa kanisa ilitatua hiyo shida ya kwamba tunaweza kuwa tukiomba in tongues tukiwa sisi zote na hata kwa kani kwa kanisa it is no longer a problem but speaking tongues is good would you like to know things about your life that you don't know that nobody else knows and the holy spirit knows unaomba tu kama vile nimekuambia na unajua ajabu nitakwambia kwa mfano kuna mwanamke alikuwa anataka kuwa uh, pastor Na banaki alikuwa kikata. Wakakuja kwetu na tumeka namba, namba na yangu na wao. Tunajaribu kuongeresha hui mtu. Na si mtu ya tini si mtu wa kanisa. Sitaki kukuwabia levo yake. Lakini shaitani ya memuongeresha. Pa, women should not be pastors. Tunamuambia scriptures. Tukamuambia na alikata. All of a sudden. Like I always do. And I am crying. Then. Uya nasema. Hey, kwa ni umeona ni kuwa mbaya aje. Nika muambia apana, si kulia ni melia vile umefanya. It is God who is speaking. And then I knew, myself I knew, there is something God has said. Na kuna kitu kitatendeka mahali pale. Either God will say she is not fit to be a pastor, or he will say yes, she is fit. Na walipo enda, badae, yule mwana muka li niadikia kaniabia, ata niko college. Na mato lete, na the nosio, maliere, but until the Holy Spirit spoke, ika ikafugua hiyo jia ikapatikana jia kwa hivyo kuoba na tongues ni vizuri and you know how you receive tongues it is by laying on of hearts two it is by desiring you just decide when i started speaking in tongues mimi ni kudesire ni redesire ndio kulide gear dodo si ni litaka ni litaka ni litaka when i go to church when we are praying like you came here me my desire was not how at mabayagu yatakuwa my desire was one I want to speak in tongues. That's how you get it. My desire was speaking in, I want this. Then it is easy speaking in tongues. You know why we don't speak in tongues? It is because we have not desired to. We think that sometimes it can happen that. 
But tongues, you can decide to have tongues like you decided to get saved. Do you know when you got saved? It is not like the Holy Spirit came and, it, and it did things to you. You decided. Even speaking in tongues. You can speak even right now. Because you just need to relax and you open your mouth and you allow God to move your mouth. That's how you, you receive the Holy Spirit. And from there, that time, you practice that. Because if you don't speak in tongues, you really miss. If there is being led by the Holy Spirit in here, in here you have to speak in tongues. Yes, sasa hiyo diyo kuingia kabisa katika kuongozo na roho mtakatifu na pomba. And because I was praying and believing God to give you these tongues, I, I think we will just pray you, I, I want you to just start praying and just release yourself. Now, take care of the mirror. Don't move freely. That, that's the way you. That's the way I received. You just start praying and allow the, the, you are trying to move freely. That's how you receive the Holy Ghost. So, there's one thing I wanted us to do. As you pray, you focus on God. You focus. And I want you to to close your hands. We, we learn somehow a little bit how, how we focus on God. Oh, he my thought too. Close your eyes, sorry. You learn, I want to add. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to focus on God. Well, because as you are led by the Holy Spirit, you have to focus. That's what we said. You have to focus on God. Now, how do you focus on God? And this is something you should be doing even when you are praying and worshiping. When you are singing praise and worship songs, this is how you should pray. You should sing. You focus on God. I want you to focus on God. And I want to tell you some things. Then I want you to focus them. We are learning how to focus as we pray. So I want you to think about Daniel. If you don't know again the Bible, it will not mean anything. I want you to see Daniel in uh, the light of uh, Daniel chapter 3. 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 Daniel Haya, ona mungu akif, akifunga midomo ya wale lions. Asa umeona. Na, na wete kira kuona because there is something you will feel. Right now you feel the presence of God when you focus. Sasa ona, ona mungu uh, akifunga midomo. Uh, ona ya kwamba ako, na, ako kule na lions na hawamu, they are not eating him. Let me use that word. They are not devouring him. Wana ameka na wao, wana muangalia tu hawamkuli. Eh, sasa wana ameokolewa, wana ametoka, usifungue macho, wana ametoka. Wana ametoka. Nitakuliza swali ukiwa umefunga macho. Hapo umeona Mungu ni Mungu wa aina gani? What did you learn God is? My sister. He is a powerful God. My sister has seen a powerful God. Uh -huh. Who else has, and don't open your eyes, just lift your hand I, 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 uh, somehow. Where umeona nini? How kuona kitu? Huyo mungu ni nani? I am my sister here. He, he, oh wow, I bless God for that. He is omnipresent. Ati hata kwa shimo, mugu, ako. Mwingine tuambia umeona nini? Yes, my sister behind there in green, yellow. Oh, our protector, wonderful. Hey, you can hear so many things. Ha, ginyo maketaru, no one can do yato ma ginya. Gora yako aigwa ya. Naku dini ya aigwa yato nyonega. No, gewona. Have you seen anything? Yes, ma'am, there behind. He's a, wow. You see a defender God. He cannot be eaten. He's being defended. Anybody else last day? Yes, in red here. He delivers from evil. Wow, wow, a deliverer, yes, in a green coat jacket there or something like that. He rescues us, wonderful. Now you are focusing on God. Uh -huh. Let's continue focusing. Look at now Daniel, Meshach, and Abednego. They are now in the fire. 
Let's now go to the fire. Now we are in the fire. Remember now you are praying as you see this. Or when you are worshiping, unaona hiyo. Una worship ukiona hiyo sasa. Haya, now they are in fire. Moto mkubwa sana. Wako kule. Na unaona wakitebea. Agalia wakitebea. Ona wakitebea. Haya, ona mtu mingine amekuja hako na wao. Labda ni Yesu. Sasa unaona wako ine, wane. Na hui mtu atafanya labda jambo hawata chomeka. Waone, hawana cheka kule ndani, unawaona wakicheka. Unawaona wakicheka. Arafu mfani mea mesema sasa, watoe huko, watoe. I hope you are focusing. Please focus. This is very vital. Focus. Haya, wametoka sasa, wametoka. Unawaona wakitoka, waki, waki abudu, waki fry sana. Haya, niambia, umeona mungu wakiwa nani. You are focusing. That's the way to pray in spirit. My sister here, my young girl. God is our shield. Wow, wow. Haya mwingine. Tafadhali haraka haraka kwa sababu ya wakati. Na nataka nyinyi mniambie hayo. Unaona Mungu pale. Wametoka wao kuchomeka. Mungu ni nani? Hata kama nikuripiti yale alisemwa ni the same. That is how our God is. Our God is. Yes, behind the there. Eh? Wow, that's a young boy there. Miraculous, wow, wow, miraculous God. Praise God for that young child. Unaona mungu wa memuongeresha. Now that is how revelation comes. Another one, another one, my sister in red here. He creates, did you say create? He created everything, even the fire. Aliuba, ataanza kuwagerea wa fire, aseme haiwezi kucho. Wow, my sister, great. I never thought of that. My sister here. He is faithful to all who trust him. Praise God. Praise God, my sister here. He is. He is a victorious God. He gives us victory. He gives us victory. Are you still focusing, my sisters? That is how the Holy... I, 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 I want... You know the Holy Spirit now has started working in you now. You wanted the Holy Ghost. That is not the Holy Ghost. Yes, my sister here. Mm -hmm. God is always in control. Good. God is always in control. He's in control. And my sister here. Wow. God operates in our faith when he has faith. I, I want you to focus somebody else. I want you to focus on Abraham. Nasa natoka kuona Abraham wakiwa na Isaac. Na ameinua kisu. Isaac ya merara pale. Anataka kumkata. Unaona sasa ameinua kitu, kisu. Anataka kumuua. Lakini kabla ya jamua. Maraika na muambia pana. Si huyu utawua. There is a, a sheep there. You kill the sheep. Angalia huyo mungu wone. As you worship. When you be praying and worshiping in church, when you be singing worship songs there, see that. That is the way to travel in the spirit. Praise God. That is how we travel in the spirit. Who is this God of Abraham and Isaac? My sister here. He is our provider. He provided the sheep. Uh -huh, somebody else. Please hurry up because of time. You know, I'm now taking your time. On an interview, he can go the yaga hard. More than a Saturday, I can't wait to get yes, ma'am. He? Wow, imagine that. He comes at the point of one. Nikaribu ni muwe. Ah, akaleta nini? Kodo. Kama kodo haku wana siya gya muwa. He comes at the point of our need. Praise God for that, yes? My sister here. God is a God of grace and favor. Do you know what grace is? Ini mungu tu kutaka kukufanya mabo tu, mabo mazuri tu. Ha kutaka Isaac ya uwawe. Akarete tu kodo tu. Akapeda tu kuleta kodo asi uwawe. That is God of grace na favor. He is favoring you. That's what he is doing. Somebody else. Doko mwata uge eti odwe. Usitoke kamea. My sister here. Ah, our God is everywhere. Even where they were praying on a mountain, he was there at the mountain. Make sure you focus. Oh God, I focus. You are missing. The Holy Spirit helped me to tell you to do that when I come. Another boy there. 
He is sympathetic. He sympathizes with who? Isaac. Wow! You people, can you imagine this young boy? Guy, you should greet me after we live here. Eh? Come and greet me. I want to bless you. Yes? He is God of promises. Do you remember he had promised Abraham children? So he keeps promises. No, no, God, wow, for that. Wow. Do you see how you are getting revelation? That's now how you get revelation. That's how you preach and people wonder, hey, do you believe? That's how you pray and people wonder, hey, Alioba, we are Monamuki Alioba, because you prayed by with revelation. Now, what you are learning is how to have what? Revelation. How to have revelation. How to have revelation. Wow, this one, I never thought of it. Aha, Muisha, Muisha, to the Joseph. We know that Joseph is a man who is a man who is a man who is a man who is a man Meko kwashimo, ako kwashimo sasa, sasa tukwede kwashimo, focus that. Sorry for keeping your time, but this is very important. Eda kwashimo, mm-hmm. Aya, one watu wamekuja, ati atawuzo, wale dugu wame mutoa, na wame uza watu, wame muzia watu. Wale watu wameenda wakampereka kwa potifa. Mutu nani mutu mkubwa, mutu mkubwa kule. Agalia bibi ya potifa anataka wafanya usherati walale na ye, lakini ye, amekata na kabio wewe, nisiji nini nini, ulitaka ku, wante turepa, kwa hivyo tunakupereka jera, muone, ako kwa jera, nika mama beake ya naisha, nika mama ya naisha kabisa, muone kwa jera, akiwa kwa jera, pero anaota, doto, ninani ataenda kutatua hile manene ya doto, Joseph, kwa hivyo ametoka kuli ya meda kwa uh, ferao, Muone wakiwa na ferao. Nina harakisha maudu matu kwe de irontu ike kahora sole. Nede ire madha mama udu magi. Sasa ako kwa ferao sasa. Muone kwa ferao. Ana muabia doto sasa. Ana mtafusiria doto. Na atajua. Iyo doto anajua. Manake we have the anction of the Holy Spirit and we know all things. We know all things because we have the Holy Spirit. Nini kwa bibiri ya yugete. I Joseph Sasa ametoka kule akiwa governor amekuwa promoted kwa sababu ameambia Pharaoh yale atafanya kwa sababu ya kiangazi chakula uweke kwenye gara nini saa muone akiwa governor muone sasa Look at that way Mary Joseph walitoka na mpaka wakati ule ako governor huyo Mungu ni Mungu wa aina gani Nirudie tena unapoomba uona geogo Let you all worship aga ha mukina okona go guo ogwo ni go to worship aga yes my sister in black coat He is our shield hallelujah he is our shield ah yes He oh he is a god of all season at when I am in the in the hall I am there when I am in Potiphar's presence I am still there it doesn't matter where you are on the way jira in there Aliokuo, onawejera ine, aliokuo, no, no, umekuo. My sister, wow, niyo nige kugota, lakini uko bali, hiyo. Eh, aha, igine pale. He's a, ah, ya doa ya mtu, ikiri ya doa mage gani ya tea. He's a way maker. No, mwona, ni mwona radhi mwaka aneniye. Dira iwa, wow, ya doa ya. He's a way maker. Wow. Yes, my, pale mam, in, eh, Uh, siji hiyo jacket ni nini coat ni ageteli ya magani eh wewe he can he can fulfill our dreams si Joseph alikuwa ame dream ati atakuwa mkubwa na wewe una dream kijana huwa una dream nini dream dream big eh kijana niwe na ongeresha wewe umekuwa ukijibu maswali u dream ukiwa mtu mkubwa na utakuwa manake god fulfills our dream and this young girls dream the same yes God has very good plans for us. Uh-huh. There is something you've said that I don't want to What did you say? I said that God has very good plans for us despite where you start. Oh, despite where you start in a hole. Oh, 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 oh. Ati utakuwa governor. Igawaje ulikuwa kwa shimo. Utakuwa governor, my friend here. He is God who 
elevate and I know and I know my sister here I want to hear you uh-huh. tell us God's plan is to give us a good future young girls did you hear that God's plan is to give you a good future to give you a good husband a good wife for that boy who is there <laughs> he has good plans for us and so we should love. I want another girl to say something Yes, they are in yellow. God? Averages. Did you say average? Averages for us. He did that against his brothers who had thought to kill him. He averaged for him and he blessed us. Another girl. I want a girl. A girl. There are many girls here. A girl. In a white... Court. Now I will pick you like a good teacher. Because there is something you are thinking. Tell us. There are two of them. They are seated together. <laughs> the one on the left. Yes? What did you learn from there? Tell us something. An attribute of God. What? There. Yes. Hmm? God is a miracle worker. Beautiful. Good for that. Now, Sirale, Umerara. As I said, we are running something great. God is a miracle worker. Asante. Talking here, how? Netodo Amahi Dana Mother. Who experienced, if you did that, who experienced the Holy Ghost, the presence? Nadoko, oh God, don't know you are. No, you are guy. No, can I hear you? Do you can No, you can hear me. No, you can My sister, no, you can hear me. 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 No, you can Okay, what guy? Nyako ya jawa uta umane ya kura haya. Guy ne moe hoke ku. Guy ya kuare dia. Guy ya kuare dia. Eh, le u ogwa ne gwato weka. Natwa te oko haya le tutika haya ge mahawa ya maige. Haya ge mahawa ya manini. Ona stop. Taka uga stop. Nyareke. Le u ni adi da kuhe ro haya mahawa ya mare 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 yu. I don't know anymore. When you learn how to pray, you don't know how to pray mahawa ya mare yu anymore. I wrote a prayer. Oh, my God, my guy. I wrote a prayer. A woman prayed like this one time. She was praying for hunger. I'm sorry. Just give me this time. She was praying for hunger. When Jesus met people, or when Jesus multiplied bread, what did he do? I will get the Father, I thank you. A woman was praying for a similar thing. Listen to this praying prayer. You know our children are hungry, God. They have no food to eat, O oh Lord. Now because they are hungry, they can't understand when they go to school, dear Lord. O oh God, O oh God, give us rain and food. When the teachers are teaching them, they cannot understand because they are hungry. I'm telling you. <laughs> We give a story. We give stories when we are praying. He doesn't need those stories. Give thanks to God in all circumstances. You give thanks. Run to pray short story, short prayers. That's how you pray. You are in place of authority. Mother, I cast that demon out. I told you here how I prayed for a God who was not able to walk. Niaki nyeti ya miyake ago diye daradi daradi ya kuka magoro ma ya madi magoro ma ya madi. Tosi ati dera to kuka father kai wa igoro na rumano daradi ya kama dani na nyorone kai ya kio daradi ya kama niki tora ya kai kai ma odoi. Why do you give God stories that He knows, my sisters? Ati kai no ene moro arumano na niara igwa de ena de na fio kai. You are telling God the problem of a person. He knows. He knows. 
ngaga mahoya maria manene methi na mahoya go ngauga ngai mwarani ne marithira tondu rire mahoyirwo ai ngai ni oyo ri athe furori oyo na thina ni we gutire na irio na gutire na mbura riu mwarani ni wone ati andu ri nginya ni marakua ona ni turoni ri ri tv ni ngombe na mbori ikuite riu andu acio matire na ngai you are telling god he knows do you know what god is looking for you
living. Usiei acha ukufe kama uja testify the great things that God is going to do in your life. So this is a very great morning. We don't take it for granted, but we know today we have left this place blessed. We were the ones who are leading us Bethlehem and we thank you God for enabling us to have that powerful session. It was so powerful and the power of the Holy Spirit was in us. And when I was telling people speak to God, I could see God is waiting for us to speak to him. But I could see people seated and not talking to God. And I was feeling that pain. I was telling people stop being lazy in the spirit. Stop being lazy because God wants to hear from you. And I could see just someone just not talking. That's how God blessing bypass you. And when people give testimonies next time, you are like, what happened to me? It's because sometimes we are lazy in the spirit. We are not able to shout. You know, I always tell people as we wind up. Mtu wakieda kwa mgaga kukuroga. Mugaga natumiaga guvu zake zote. Moshi, nini. Kaya hivi tu anapika piga anafanya nguvu. Na wa ukikuja hapa na usha pele kwa uko na jito aje. Una jito hatu hivi. Na ya mungu anataka ujito na guvu. Na sema ni metoka katika jina la yesu. Na unatoka. Tumekobolewa, na tumebarikiwa, na tumeshukuru today's breakfast. May God bless us all. Now we are going to have our chair. We are going to have Meregoiri for Thanksgiving. Yeah? Oh, Gladys Ann. Oh, Gladys Ann. Is the way I had seen in the program. To give the vote of thanks. As she comes, let us welcome you. God bless you as you come. Thank you. Praise God. We give all the glory to Jesus and tell of his love and tell of his love. We give all the glory to Jesus and tell of his wonderful love. First, we thank God for enabling us to wake up very early in the morning assemble here in this church in order to worship him, to praise him, and also his presence to be in our midst. And we have been blessed. Have you been blessed? So I thank you all ladies for availing yourself together with your children. I knew you woke your girls up very early. Some I could see the young ones are asleep at the back because they woke up very early in order to come to church to give thanks to God. Thank you very much for coming. If you didn't make it, then we would have been here, maybe just the office and a few of the Bethlehem uh, ladies, but we thank you guys. Next, thank you very much, Mrs. Margaret Kiongo. The day you came here and preached to us, we were touched. And we felt we would like to have a session with you. It's just not the, church, not the whole church, but as the ladies of this church. So that's why we felt it was good for you to come and talk to us about prayers. And our expectation has been met. We have had God talk to us, speak to us, and as you were telling us to close our eyes and visualize Daniel in that den of lions, we could see. We could see Daniel on one side. We could see the lions on the other side, just lying, sleeping, looking at Daniel. And for me, I could see a white boundary in between Daniel and the lions. That was the Holy Spirit. God was there. I could see something very bright. White. Taking control. Then when you told us to look at Meshach and Abednego in that hot pit, I just saw the three of them in a white, like something like a sack. White sack. Something misty. White mist. 
holding the three together. And then there was the fire just on the sides, but not touching them. God is doing good and great things. Thank you for the teaching. We are so grateful. And we would like you to come again and again and again. We give thanks to God. May God continue using you. May God, uh, may you continue with this ministry. Because you are one of the few chosen ones to rescue the women, to rescue the girls, to rescue the children. You are meant for this world. God bless you as you continue with the word of God. Asante Nisana, Ote, Asante Nisana Ofisi, because of thinking of this, even this topic of prayers. It is a very deep prayer topic. And uh, I know when we call you next, we know you have something even more greater for us. Uh, just like Carol has told you, umebarikiwa, umebarikiwa na nyumba yako, na ukibarikiwa, ata sisi, tutakuwa tumebarikiwa. Because that's how you will get more to come and share with us. Asante sana. Asante ni sana, wanadada. Na we have prepared breakfast for you. And uh, we will be served the breakfast out there. So everyone will receive a plate and a cup of uh, our breakfast. So karibu ni sana. Na before I give it to our leader of this morning, let us first pray for the tea and the, what we are going to eat. God, we thank you, Father, for this breakfast session that you have given it to us. You have talked to us, O thy great Jehovah. You have showed us how to pray, Almighty God. Dear Father, even uh, before us, O thy great Jehovah, we have something to drink and something to eat, O thy great Jehovah. May you bless it, may you sanctify it, dear Father, as we consume it, O mighty God. And for those, dear Father, who don't have, dear mighty God, may you remember them, O thy great Jehovah, and may you provide unto them. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. I've been requested to ask if someone has a testimony. You know, there was uh, people are being revealed so many other things. Maybe even you got a message that you may like to tell us. If there's anybody with a testimony, you can raise up your hand. Yeah, and Naomi, even I was to invite you. So as you come, give us your testimony, and you give us the announcements as we wind up.
tumefika kikomo ya the prayer and breakfast ah uh, the prayer session the seminar the talk the talk was very powerful thank you miss mangret we have been blessed and you know our lives will never be the same our prayer life will not be the same the same god is going to take us into a higher height uh we have just a few announcements um um for us in the women's guild and we are inviting all of us we usually have a fellowship on wednesday from 5:30 to 7 so if you are there please be joining us we come to pray to worship to hear the word of god and women is women's guild is for girls and women so even if you are a, a lady you are a girl feel free to join us so that we can have uh we can hear the word of god together uh we also have a palace fellowship at pca kenyatta round on 21st may so let us continue praying for it that time all, all of us who are in the women's guilds tutakuwa pca kenyatta road so let us continue praying for that event and god will bless us uh we also have the guild week is coming it's almost near it's in 4th june uh it is a sunday so let us also continue praying for that day and we pray god to provide to us and we are also telling those ones who are not in the women's guilds we are also counting on you you come and support us financially so that we can have finances that will be supporting activities like this so we usually enjoy when we come for the prayer breakfast yeah let us tell god to provide to us so that we can give you into his kingdom and so that we can be able to organize many like this one so that we can be empowered spiritually so that we can be able to stand the way god wants us to stand uh the last one we have a camp for the children which will start on 27th until 29 and you have if you have not registered your child please do so it is a camp from all those children from uh, 6 to 18 years so if your child is 18 high schoolers please also register them it will be a powerful session they will be taught so many things because we want these children to grow knowing god isn't it the world is too harsh for these children if they don't know god eh, the world will take over them isn't it so let us take them to the house of god so that they can be trained and i'm sure god will bless us and he will keep us safe because we are doing our work so i think with those few announcements uh we come to the to the end of our session and we are going to end with a, a prayer from our preacher uh so that she can pray t- for us she commit our girls to the lord because they are the future of the church and we want to to keep them in that spirit of praying and seeking god welcome miss nimeshukuru roho wa Mungu kwa vile ameongea na my sister pale vile ametuambia kile ameona hii imekuambia nini roho wa Mungu alikuwa na vile alisema vile alikuwa amesema alikuwa akiwaambia na vile nilikuta kweli roho wa Mungu wako hapa my sister alikuwa ame amefunguliwa they are called portals ni shihi kwa roho unaona unaona kitu juu unaona you can see when, when you continue getting deeper in prayers that's what you'll start seeing you can see something another time i saw a knife in kenyatta road i even went and asked the elders to allow me to say that because i saw a knife i saw a knife it was english service and the preacher who was preaching preached was preaching about ephesians chapter 6 <laughs> it was very funny Ephesians chapter 6 talks about what the armor of the Lord there is a knife and then he was also preaching about David and Goliath there is a knife so he said wow god has confirmed the message i am to preach i gave it before when we were before he preached so i thank god 
No, I remember to make a cat to corner to get it at the the Holy Spirit was there. No, I get it. We are not conscious of, of God and His moves. Things happen in church, and people just like there was nothing happening, and there was guy. Don't know that guy. When will you know him then? If you are not conscious of the little thing he does, will you ever grow? You can't grow because you don't see. Mama, I don't know what they have eyes they don't see. You don't grow if you have no eyes to see God. What the little he has seen. He has listened to that testimony of my sister. See the way she was saying it. It was something that she really so can you come or give you the work? Ne ma odo ni na ma mumaki na na e wo ni re to do no wo hu bure irio. Re mo do ta o ka go ni the Holy Spirit. Re ni ha kwa nyoni re ni ona gai ni ona he odo na. Ni wo si omo the at or all level again. She will not be the same level. Let's go with her. Kate Hoy. Tunakushukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya uwepo wako na mapenzi yako. Asante kwa kutembea na sisi siku hii ya leo. Asante kwa sababu ya Umas Guild ya Gosheni mfalme wa ajabu. Asante kwa sababu unawapenda. Asante kwa sababu unaona wanataka kukua ndani yako. Waweze kukujua na kufahamu ukombozi wako. Mungu wangu naomba ya kwamba utawatembelea kwa maono utawatembelea kwa jia kuu hii umaguild itakuwa neno lako litatoka kinywani mwao katika jina la Yesu Kristo watanena miujiza mikuu ya Mungu watanena mambo makuu ya amba, ambayo Mungu anatenda katika parokia hii na katika mahali hapa ni asanti Mungu kwa sababu leo Tunamini neema yako imewainua na kuwabeleka katika kiwango kingine cha wokovu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Roho Mungu endelea kuongea na wao. Yale tumesoma Mungu wangu. Yafuatilie kwa ndoto, yafuatilie kwa maono katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ni asanti kwa sababu ya ya, ya 4th of June wakati wata wanajitarisha sababu ya Good Week, Mungu watarisha na wapatia na fedha za kupatiana na wakati ule katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunawaschana wachanga mahala hapa. Tunawakabidhi mikononi mwako mfalme wa ajabu. Asante kwa sababu alikubali kuamka na kuja kusikiza neno lako. Thank you for their obedience oh God. Biblia inasema wanao a, a, obe wazazi wao wataishi maisha marefu. Wabariki na kuisha mare, maisha marefu. Mungu tunawaombea waweze kukujua wakujue na wakupende katika jina la Yesu Christ. Open their eyes, the eyes of understanding that they may have your knowledge, O oh God, and the wisdom that comes from above. Thank you, Lord. In their studies, bless them in Jesus' name. Even the few boys that were here, bless them with your mighty hand of blessing. And now, oh God, as we break, we release ourselves unto you, dear Lord. Use us as your vessels, dear Father. Na waacha, ukiwatembelea, ukewapa kipawa cha kuongea na ndimi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Thank you, God. When I come here next time, I will meet these women speaking in the power, in, in tongues of the Holy Ghost. Because God, you are giving them a desire and you will meet their prayers, their desire. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we depart, depart us with the peace, the peace of God that has no understanding. Let it reign in our lives. Let it overcome for us all rivers and all problems in Jesus' name. Heal us, dear Lord. Those that are sick, heal them. Those that need deliverance, deliver them. These, those that need certain miracles, give them. Give them, Lord. I release your presence in this place. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. And now may the grace and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you.